Okay, so Paris 2024 is fast approaching. So I'm going to make my predictions for the men's singles table tennis. It won't surprise you, but I think a Chinese player is going to win. That's just based on the level of those players that uh, China's likely to enter and the history. So the men's singles since 2008 has been won exclusively by Chinese players. And across all table tennis events at the Olympics since 1988, 32 of the 37 gold medals have gone to China. So that's, a, that's an unrivaled dominance of the sport, uh, probably unrivaled by any other sport, by any other nation. Chances are it'll be a Chinese player. Which Chinese player will win? Well, because of their dominance, China can only enter two players, as can other countries. That rule was introduced to try and give an opportunity for other countries to at least get a bronze. At the moment, there's three candidates really from China that will, that will enter. So it's Fan Zhendong, Ma Long and Wang Chuqin. Obviously, Ma Long is the defending champion and he won in 2016 as well. Looking at the forums online, people seem to think that Ma Long won't qualify. I'm not so sure. I don't fully understand the, the qualifying process uh, that China have in place. It's based on merit, uh, based on ranking points uh, in ITTF events from May 2023 up until May 2024. At the moment, it looks like it's going to be Wang Chuqin and Fan Zhendong that will qualify. But there's still quite a long time to go. That's a good five months from when I'm recording here. And I know Ma Long uh, in the past has said that he really wants to play. I don't know if people have heard anything different, why they seem to think he's definitely not qualifying. But uh, of the three, if, if they go, I think Ma Long is the most likely to win. He's going to be very determined to win it. Um, he has obviously got the, the experience and at, at the big tournaments, he tends to really step it up. So if Marlon qualifies, I think he's going to win. If he doesn't qualify, Fan Zhendong, just based on the fact that he has more experience than Wang Chuqin, uh, played at the previous final uh, and obviously lost to Marlon, I think Fan Zhendong is, is more likely to win of the two. So... That's a pretty obvious prediction. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. If you're betting on who's going to win the men's singles, the safe bet is bet on a Chinese player. Probably choose Fan Zhendong uh, at this stage if you're going to bet now because we don't know if Ma Long's going to qualify. But that, that's the boring prediction. I'm giving that a sort of a 90% chance of a Chinese victory. But uh, there are some other candidates who who have a chance. Uh, so here are the other people I think have that 10% chance. My number one pick to beat the Chinese at Paris 2024 is Lin Yun Ru. He's 22 years old. He's from Chinese Taipei, Taiwan. And he's beaten all of the top Chinese players at other tournaments. So recently in Frankfurt at the Champions Tournament, he beat Wang Chu Chin in the semi-final and Ma Long in the final. An incredible feat. And that's got to give him a lot of confidence, knowing that he can beat these top Chinese players. So that is my number one pick to beat the Chinese at Paris 2024. The other candidate I have that has a small chance of beating the Chinese at Paris 2024 is 17 years old. He plays Penhold and he's from France. And that's Felix Lebrun. At such a young age, we don't know how good he can be. And he'll have the home crowd behind him. A home victory in any table tennis tournament is good for the sport. So I'm hoping Felix can, can pull off the incredible and win the men's singles at Paris 2024. It's going to be very, very difficult. The Chinese will be so strong and they won't want to give up their title easily. But Lin Yun Ru, Felix Lebrun, I'm giving them a 10% chance of winning. Okay, so that is my predictions for Paris 2024, whether you liked it or not. Um, anything can happen injuries a random player having a real hot streak but um, I'm looking forward to it Paris 2024